So the first video I did on Portland Thorns Olivia Moultrie was on her ability to receive under pressure and the marginal value that added possession to possession to end up making a rather large difference in the aggregate. The point was to, to look at more subtle things that she does. And I'd like to build off of that by looking at her patience in possession and how that manifests in terms of her ball carrying into space. So when you think of players that are effective ball carriers, you you imagine players that are destroying players off the dribble, you know, moving from point A to point B in a straight line really quickly, right? Using, you know, a lot of impressive pace and explosiveness to be able to destabilize defenses and single-handedly use your dribbling ball carrying to make a difference for your team. And Moultrie doesn't necessarily have those physical qualities, so that's not really how she uses her ball carrying or dribbling a lot. Instead, and and what you're going to see in these clips, is how she uses her ball carrying as a way to actually improve her passing game and expand the options that she has. And this shows a level of patience and a level of willingness to play in the flow of the game. In this situation, you'll see, okay, there's not a lot going on here. Houston are pretty well set up in terms of numbers on 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 the side uh, that Olivia Moultrie is possessing the ball, right? There's a good amount of numbers here. There's not a whole lot of passing options. This player is covered. Everyone's just about covered here. And so, what 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 might a player do in this situation? It's perfectly fine to, to play this pass here, right? And maybe Portland can slowly attack the far side and reset there's absolutely nothing wrong with that in fact a lot of players probably might do that but Moultrie okay is in this situation says why don't I just take the space that the defense is giving to me right there's all this space here I'm not under any pressure I'm under no stress so why don't I just keep searching for something and see if I can find something better so she's driving driving heads on a swivel you can see she's looking are any of these options good? Not particularly. I mean, there's people trying to make runs in behind, but very difficult passes. Why would she attempt them? She keeps going. She keeps going. And here she finds something she likes. So you can see this defender here. Eyes on Moultrie. Hesitating to track back, which leaves this player on the far side open. And all of a sudden we have something here. And Moultrie's able to hit the switch. And Portland are able to go on and attack the box. And... If you're not really paying attention or you're not really kind of aware of what's happening here, this doesn't seem that special, right? Like it's it's a good pass, but really all she did was just carry the ball laterally and play it across. But again, this is this is what I'm talking about with her, right? She's not content to just settle for a mediocre, you know, play on the ball, right? If there could possibly be something better here. It's not like she's forcing the issue like recklessly it's not like there are you know a bunch of defenders here here and here and she's just driving into them and, and randomly trying to make something happen no she's playing within the flow of the game taking what's given to her and seeing can i improve the possession there's she could play this pass but there's no read the game is not telling her to play this pass nothing is forcing her to do this so she says okay let me just take the space improve my angles see if I, if I can end up finding something better across this line. And she, she ends up doing so. In this next clip, you're going to see something very similar. Again, Houston is really loaded up to the ball side here. I mean, look at all these numbers. Where is the pass? Like, at one point, maybe as she turns away from it and she's looking for more options, there could be something to done here. But the defender is right here right it's kind of a risky play so why go for that so she, she just turns away from the congestion again there's no pressure on her there's a decent amount of space here so why not just take what the game gives to me the defense gives to me turn turn you, you could see that she looked up she saw something and in this occasion it's a switch and this is even better than the last one because it gets her teammate one versus one into space in this situation where there's nothing on there's nothing wrong necessarily with this pass. I mean, probably the safest is she could play it all the way over here. And a lot of players might end up doing that. But she says, why? Why should I do that? The game's not forcing me to do that. I can drive across. 
I see that and something much, much better comes out of this. Like this is this is a very valuable pass to get from the halfway line to a one versus one that could potentially head into the box. So this is where we get to something more spectacular. I'm sure most of you have seen this by now. It's that assist versus Angel City. Beautiful pass. Like there's no, no, nothing wrong with focusing on the pass here. But look at where this starts from. On the wing, receiving, and there's a lot of things she can do here, right? She can drive to the byline. She might try to slip in this player if, if, if she makes a run there. At this point, it's not obvious at all that there's some kind of pass here for the run being made. Maybe she sees it. I suppose it's possible, but I would wager that really what she's just doing is saying, okay, this defender is backpedaling, this defender is backpedaling, and I have this amount of space. There's nothing amazing for me right now. Why don't I just go into it? Right? And and I'm pressure is being applied that way. So again, playing within the flow of the game and taking what the defense gives her, almost kind of letting the defense kind of dictate her decision making. It just makes sense given the context of what she's facing. Drives forward, drives forward. And because she does that, all of a sudden she's in a situation where now, oh, okay, I see this run's coming. And she has the vision to play the ball to where the run is going to go, not where the player is at the moment. And you end up with this beautiful assist. And we have this final one where she's on the wing. Again, she's just going to take the space, right? Because not really any passes here. No one at this point is running in behind. And the pass to feed is not on. Maybe at that point she could she could have found Sophia Smith. Um, but she just continues driving. And you'll see here, this is what we talked in the last video, right? The defender catches up to her, so seals her off, right? Body between defender and the ball, make contact, use hips, use arm to prevent the defender from being able to get to the ball, secure possession, and then continue the run. So we'll just see that again. This is what this is what I talked about, how she uses her body in the last video. Takes space, uses her body, seals off the defender, and because she's just patient, just carrying, 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 waiting for things to happen, you get this run from Crystal Dunn here. And now she's able to play the pass. Now there's something. And it feeds her in behind, and suddenly the Thorns are in a good situation where they have two players who have beaten their marks, really, who are in the position to get a really high-quality shot on goal. Um, and unluckily, this defender is able to block the cross here. So the thing that really impresses me is, is the fact that there's so little risk in what she's doing with this, right? In the fact that she's extending her time on the ball to search for another opportunity, it's not like she's increasing the chances that she's going to lose the ball. All that's happening is it's adding more and more chances that she ends up finding the better pass. And it's because she's not forcing the issue. It's because she's simply taking what's given to her that allows her to turn a pretty simple situation where she has the ball on the touchline into a situation where, okay, I see the run, I can play the pass. And all of a sudden we have what looks like a counter-attacking situation almost and uh, a really good attacking sequence.